Hello! Welcome back to Mila's Eats channel. Today I will have my helper, youngest daughter Stella. Hi guys! Today we will be making Thanksgiving dinners using one turkey. We will be making dinners like meat brulee with basil, carrot and paprika. Then rest of meat we will put the instant pot. And after that we will take that meat out and use for pot pie. We'll have very yummy pot pie. Let's begin! Okay, now we have to cut turkey in pieces. We'll start from the leg. And another one. Okay, we have two legs out. Now, what I'll do, I'll take off all skin. Okay, now I'll take turkey breast out for roulette. Okay, we have all turkey cut and the pieces. Mm -hmm. Now we'll take a, a breast roulette and save on the plate. Rest of pieces will seasoning with seasoning salt very well. And now we'll place the instant pot. Yeah, we have all those pieces. whole turkey fits in it and stump up. Okay, we close. And then we hit meat stew. And just let it. Okay, now we will prepare the meat for the relay. And we cut. And we make like flat. Now we have to make this meat a little bit more tender. And I will beat it with this. Now that the meat is fully beaten and thin, I will use turkey brine. I bought in the Costco, it's all mixture together here. It's very good mixture. I will uh, put in the water and then we'll marinate this meat for an hour. Okay, I will have two spoons, tablespoons, two and a half. And then two cups of water. And also I will add some chicken bouillon. Just one spoon and mix this together. Okay, and I will place this meat in here and we'll wait for one hour to marinate. I'll put some orange peels inside the marinade. Now that the turkey is marinating, we will create the filling inside the roulette. I will be slicing this carrot and I will chop this basil. One hour pass. Now we take this meat out from the brain and put to the drain. Now we will drain the turkey. Okay, now we put back here. Now I'll take the carrots that I previously sliced and I will start putting many on the turkey to create the filling. And now we put basil inside. Now a little bit of paprika. Now we have to roll this in very careful. Okay. One relay is ready. Let's make another one. Okay. I will use oven bag to place those relay in to the oven. Open and carefully place relay inside the bag and close it. Then what do you need? Just make few cuts on the back. And I'll place this to the oven for 350 Fahrenheit for two hours. We have some baby potatoes and some Brussels sprouts that we will be putting in the oven as well. Let's season this. We will use Johnny seasoning salt and some olive oil to drizzle over the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts. And lastly, some black pepper. Now we will add some fresh parsley into the potato. Now we will mix the potatoes with all the stuff that we put in. Okay, and now we will take our Brussels sprouts and put it on the top. This looks delicious. Now I will take some foil and I will cover it and then it will be ready to go into the oven. So since our roulette is in the oven, 350 degrees. We will also add the potato and Brussels sprouts in for one hour. Okay, roulette is done and potato is done too. 
now it's time to take outer way. Let's cut this back. Look at that. So nice. It smells so good. My potatoes is ready too. Okay, our turkey and instant pot is ready. Let's open. We'll take out. That's how it looks like. We have to cool down this meat because I will use this meat for pie. Now we'll caramelize these onions. Okay, turning stove to high heat. Here waiting when it's gold over. Okay, onion. Let's caramelize it for 10 minutes. Now I will add some sugar with two tablespoons of sugar. Some black pepper. Okay, meat just cool down. What I'll do, I'll just take a piece of meat and divide from the bones. I'll put meat here and bones over here. Okay, I have divided meat from the bones and caramelized onion, and I have everything ready for the pie. Let's start making pie. Okay, for pie, we need three tablespoons of sour cream. Two tablespoons of mayo, and we mix this with one tablespoon of baking powder. And now I will mix this with the mixer. Now I'll add butter, only third, five eggs, one cup of flour. Now I'll take a piece of butter and put it on the bottom. Okay, now I'll take half this dough and put it on the bottom. Now I'll place onions and then I put turkey meat. Now we'll put the rest of the dough on the top. Okay, that's how it's supposed to look like. Now we put it in the oven for 300 Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. And our turkey pot pie is done. It smells so good. Okay, now time to make the cranberry sauce. I have some fresh organic cranberries and I'm just going to use half of what's in here. Then I will take four tablespoons of sugar. After that I will use this orange that we used for the peels to marinate our turkey. And I will just cut this in half and squeeze out all the juice. Now that I squeezed our orange, I'm going to add this orange juice into the cranberries and sugar. Then I will add two ounces of water. Okay, I have placed my pot on the stove on high heat and I am going to add in our cranberry mixture. And we're going to create that sauce. This will take about half an hour to fully cook. Okay, so 15 minutes have passed and I put this on low heat now and we're going to let it cook for another 15 minutes on low heat. Our half hour has passed now and the cranberry sauce is all finished. Okay. Let's put some potato. Low patrole. Wow, so juicy. So yummy looking. This carrot and basil inside. Look at this. Okay, and I cut slice of pot pie. Now it's finally time to try the food. Yes. Let's see it. Delicious roulette with carrot and basil inside. Mm, so juicy, so moist. Very good. I personally really love the cranberry sauce. It's a good touch with both the pie and the roulette. Thank you for watching my video. 
please subscribe and I'll see you next time.